I'm Mike Kamalowski with the Nautic Global Group. Today we're looking at an all brand new model by Rinker Boat Company. It's an entry into the um, outboard market. It's a 17 foot Rinker 170. There's a lot of really nice features about this boat. It was specifically built to capture uh, business in cottage areas, um, small trailer boat product, and it offers a tremendous amount of features and the boat gives you all, it really gives you a lot. Let's walk through the boat. First thing with Rinker is you have multiple power choices. You can choose from Mercury, Evinrude, Honda, Yamaha, or even Suzuki. So you have a wide array of choices. The power range on this 170 is from 70 horsepower through the 115. When you look at the boat, there's a lot of standard features. You start at the aft, you have a port and starboard. The swim platform also includes an integrated deep reach ladder. When you get into the boat, you're gonna find that this model has an integrated fiberglass liner. So the deck and hull liner are all incorporated in one piece, which gives you a very rigid, strong construction and a very easy to maintain um, interior cockpit. The cockpit you're gonna find is very deep, is very large, and it's very well appointed. So when you look at the, uh, the cockpit area, you have a, a port to starboard rear bench that is very comfortable, has high back rest. Underneath the rear bench seats, if you lift them up, you're gonna find a storage compartment that is a completely molded in storage compartment with a drain rail around the outside. So it eliminates any water intrusion into the storage compartment. So we call them a dry compartment. Available as an option, you'll see the snap-in carpet. We rethought the snap-in carpet on this boat. So this carpet has been split into five different sections. The sections make it easy to remove the entire carpet, or even if you just want to remo remove a piece of it. Helm and port side council are fully featured. You have um, full instrumentation on the helm, tilt wheels an option, bucket seats are standard. On the port side, you're gonna find a glove box with a standard stereo. Another unique feature on this boat, as we were designing it, uh, we looked at a full windshield concept. But we also looked at this boat as possibly having windscreens for the person who may buy it in southern climate and wants, doesn't, doesn't really have the need for a windshield and wants the air blowing in their face. So windscreens are standard on the boat with an optional windshield. So the colder climates are gonna, are gonna opt for the windshield, but it still gives you the ability to make a choice. There are seven color options on this boat. So you have seven gel coat color options and a complimentary interior that matches the gel coat options. The port and starboard um, consoles are also color matched. Moving through to the bow, you're gonna find a wide bow entranceway, and the bow is very deep. When you're looking at a 16 to 17 foot boat, bows are traditionally pretty narrow, pretty uh, shallow. This is very deep. So in floor storage, also when you look at that, you lift up the lid on the, the uh, these ski storage, you're gonna find a drain channel also. So it allows any water that may enter off the floor into that, in or near that ski well, it diverts it down into the bilge and not into the ski locker. Rinker spent over a year designing and, and coming up with the right concept and the right dimensions and the right layout on this boat based on customer feedback. We wanted the size to be something that um, is great, as I mentioned earlier, for cottage country and also something that can be easy, easily trailered. So the boat has a lot of, lot of storage, it has a lot of cockpit space, and it is fully featured. There's plenty of options if you want to option up with canvas, with a ski toe, um, with a bimini top. So there's not a lot missing on this boat.